We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? Welcome back to Tip of the Week. If you are in the process of hooking up your aircraft engine with wires, hoses, throttle cables, fuel lines, then this week's tip was made just for you. Let us look at how other talented, experienced builders put things together in their aircraft so that we can learn to do a better job on ours. The object of our attention today is a rather nice installation created by Herman at Wings and Wheels here in Lake City, Florida. It is not the engine itself that we want to focus on, rather it is the simple things like mounting and supporting all of those tubes and wires that feed the engine. One effective strategy is to make good use of the Adele clamp. First, let us familiarize ourselves with the Adele clamp. These are also known by some builders as cushion clamps. They are officially identified by part number MS-21919 by the FAA. On certified aircraft, they are the predominant form of cable support as documented in the FAA Advisory Circular 4313. Adele clamps can be used in all sorts of creative ways. Here is one example from 4313 Circular where we see a cable bundle being supported through an opening specifying that a grommet is not required if there is more than 3 8 inch surrounding space. Now let's take a look at an engine installation in progress for some real life examples. Note the large sized electrical wire used for the engine starter. Rather than just cable tie this important wire to the engine mount, we have used Adele clamps to securely fasten it in place. Note how the clamps are used in pairs, one size for the engine mount tube and one for the cable itself. They are joined together with a single bolt and lock nut. This provides a lot of flexibility for adjusting its position. We have another cable likewise supported at the bottom. Here are some throttle cables used in a dual throttle system. Following the exit from the firewall we see how the cables are securely fastened to an engine mount tube using an Adele clamp along with a smaller metal clamp sized just right for the outer jacket of the throttle cable. This makes for a tidy installation, one that can be moved or replaced in the future. Much better than just leaving those cables flopping in the wind. A traditional use of the clamp is for supporting a collection of small cables used by the engine for the multitude of sensors and other devices. Tape can be wrapped around the bundle to achieve a nice fit in the clamp. You may have a fuel filter or fuel pump that needs a place to mount. Note how these Adele clamps have made easy work for a professional install. Hooking up the lines or replacement in the future is a straightforward operation with a pair of wrenches to loosen the clamps. Nothing is more critical than securing our fuel lines in a safe manner. The Adele clamp offers a cushioned method to attach the lines to the fuselage or firewall as needed. 
A single hole is all that an Adele clamp requires for mounting. Electronic sensors of all kinds can be professionally mounted. Here an oil pressure sensor and its connecting line are held in place with clamps. Having a wide variety of clamp sizes on hand helps to get a good fit for every sensor. A steel accessory plate, as shown here for an ignition coil and other related items, can be easily affixed to your engine mount with four Adele clamps. As you see here, one used at each corner will provide a reliable manner of mounting nearly any size plate. The possibilities are endless with this. When you have devices with mounting holes that need to be affixed, such as this custom oil separator, the use of Adele clamps with bushings of the correct length can provide flexible mounting possibilities. Once this manner of mounting is understood, there is little that cannot be creatively mounted in the engine compartment. Even mounting bulky items such as a capacitor, as needed by this fuel-injected engine, becomes an easy chore with an appropriately sized Adele clamp. You may have heard that there is an Adele clamp installation tool. Although this tool is not needed for installing Adele clamps, it can be helpful in some challenging situations. The challenge is closing the clamp on a tight bundle and getting the attaching bolt in place with the two holes lined up. The tool provides a means to align and close the clamp for an easy bolt insertion. If you install a lot of Adele clamps, it does make things easier, but it is certainly not required. As an alternative to using Adele clamps, an economical way to secure less critical items such as scat hoses is to use a large cable tie and a piece of flexible hose. Take a look here to understand how this works. Let's look at the numbering system used when ordering Adele clamps. The size of the clamp opening when the clamp is completely closed is designated by the number on the trailing end, specified in sixteenths of an inch. For example, a 20 would mean an opening diameter of 20 sixteenths, or more naturally, an inch and a quarter. Note that the 20 is prominently displayed after the MS-21919 number on the clamp. If there is the letter W in the MS number, that is for the little wedge that we see right here. And that is effective in making sure tiny wires don't escape through the opening. Without the letter W, that wedge does not exist. So that leaves us with two letters appearing right before the size designation. These two letters specify the materials used in the clamp. Remember there is an inner metal band and typically a softer material creating the cushion component. These two letters specify standard component materials used for these. This can be important when temperature and strength is a factor in choosing the best clamp for an application. Clamp vendors may carry only a few of these commonly used varieties, 
look for their descriptions and these letters when ordering. You may find that non-aviation vendors like Amazon may sell Adele clamps that do not have these designations in their clamp products. This does not mean the clamps are inferior, but rather means you cannot count on the material standards as described by this mill spec numbering system. And there you have it. Everyone's home-built aircraft is different, but by using these ideas from Herman's installation allows our projects to go together looking a little nicer. And back to building is where we should be headed.